In the second example, we would like to show the time measurement automation function. As hardware, a SIG retroreflective sensor with A70 timer automation function on board is used and which is connected via C-Link 2 master to a PC. As interface, SOPUS 3.0 is used. Open the time measurement tab in SOPUS in order to adjust the timer function. In the upper area of the timer tab, the current timer value as well as the switching outputs are displayed. In the center, the timer settings are done. The lower area is used for setting debouncing values. The debouncing is used for the suppression of short disturbing peaks that could be generated by flying sparks or cuttings that shall not be detected. In order to demonstrate the debouncing, a value of 100 milliseconds is entered and it is visible that an object shorter than this time is suppressed. The timer value does not change. As soon as the object is longer than 100 milliseconds, the timer starts working. The total detection time stays the same as the debouncing value is added to the detection time at the end. If an object like this is taken and then moved through the light spot, the sensor measures the time the light beam is blocked and displays the time in milliseconds. So, different speeds or different object sizes will result in different times. If the speed stays the same, a differentiation of object sizes can be done. It can also be used for quality checks if, for example, an object is tilted or not. The sensor currently has the following settings. The comparator value low is set to 150 milliseconds. The comparator value high is set to 200 milliseconds. The logic function 1 is set to window. The measuring mode is set to target. With these settings, the sensor gives a high signal if the time measured is between 150 and 200 milliseconds. With a constant speed, a differentiation between the object moved through the light spot in a vertical position and horizontal position can be done. 